video that I have wanted to do for the longest time, as you might be able to tell by, you know, obviously the title of this video and by the tie I'm wearing right now. This is a Harry Potter collection video. So, quick backstory, I've been obsessed with Harry Potter since the age of like seven or eight is when I started reading the first book and I instantly fell in love with J.K. Rowling and her books and oh my gosh, I can't even explain to you guys, like, I am obsessed. I love it. It has impacted my childhood in such a positive way. It has made me, like this might seem like overly dramatic, but I feel like it really has shaped me as a person, seeing the characters grow. It's taught me that being different is okay, and um, like taught me, you know, a lot of life skills. And I don't really want to get into a whole long rant on how I love Harry Potter because you guys know. Um, but I just wanted to make this collection video about all of the things I have. My collection isn't huge, but it is, you know, pretty, pretty big. Um, so let's just get on to this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you want more Harry Potter related videos. Like if you want some DIYs or like a party video or like food, I don't know, or like how to make butterbeer. Butterbeer. Yes. All right. Anything like that, leave that in the comments down below, and um, I think that's all I need to say, so let's get on to the video. So a quick tidbit before I start going through all of my Harry Potter doodads, as you guys might have noticed, my past video or two I've been filming in my bedroom, this is my bedroom, um, and not in my filming setup, just because, well, all right, cool, all my books just fell down fine um, but I've been filming in here just because I really like how my bedroom looks I'm very happy with the look of my bedroom um, and I'm like just I'm not really feeling how my filming setup in my studio is looking right now so I want to get that all fixed up and then start filming videos in there again so if the lighting is a little like not top-notch quality uh, I think it's okay because I have the window open um, but I do not have room in my bedroom for to bring all my studio lights and backgrounds and things like that in here so that's why I've been filming in here. Just wanted to kind of say that real quick. So I thought I would start out the um, collection, I don't know, with books. So these are the original, well, US versions, uh, original Harry Potter books when they first came out. I love these. I don't have all of them. I don't know where they all went, to be honest. But these were my um, cousin. He's like 30. These were the books that he read as a kid and then passed them to my sister who then passed them to me and they mean a lot to me. Um, the cover artwork is gorgeous on them. This was before they even started like making the movies. This was the cover art. They're all hardback. They're very sentimental. So Chamber of Secrets, she got thrown over there. Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, and Order of the Phoenix were the only ones I could find today for some reason. But I do have all of them, just not here. So the next book that I have is the Harry Potter film wizardry. A lot of people you might see have the one that's like blue with Harry really big in the middle or whatever. That is the newer version. This is the original version of it. Um, so it doesn't, I think it only has seven part one because this came out before they made seven part two. Um, it's really old. It's ripping. The spine is like coming off. I absolutely love this book with every ounce of my being. It's got little fun props you can take out and like the Yule Ball invitations, proclamations, the Marauders map is in here. It's just got amazing pictures and it's just I and about all the characters and there's so much information you couldn't even possibly read it all. I absolutely love this book. It was my childhood pretty much. So the next book that I have here is actually the original screenplay for the brand new movie J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, which if you guys have not seen that, I know it's not in theaters anymore, you need to see it. It's so, so good. The next book that I have here is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2. This is the play script, because this is a script that's going on in London, but obviously I don't live in London, I live in Tennessee. So the next thing we have here is the 
pride and joy of my collection. Love this. This actually was a Christmas present from my sister. Nicest Christmas present ever. Um, it's J.K. Rowling. Um, why do I keep saying that? Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, um, which is the first book if you don't know. Um, the Illustrated Edition by Jim K. It's gorgeous. It's just so flipping gorgeous. Now we're going to get onto some more Fantastic Beasts stuff because I do have a lot of stuff for Fantastic Beasts. The first thing I have is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them character guide, which is not very expensive, super great. I love all the information and the pictures that it gives you on the cast. Yeah, really love it. Or not the cast, but the characters. Next thing I have is like the, the film wizardry book, but a Fantastic Beasts version. I love this. I've gotten to flip through it, but not spend a lot of time in it yet. Um, this is the Case of Beasts, Explore the Film Wizardry of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And as you can tell, it's Newt's case and it's got this little magnetic closure. And I love the inside print and the pattern and I just, I love it. Like they make these film wizardry books like a scrapbook and it's so cool. And again, there's so many awesome pictures, news articles and like props that you can take out and play with. So the next thing was actually a Christmas present from one of my Harry Potter obsessed friends. She got me the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find the Magical Creatures coloring book, which is like so cool guys, it's like, it's great. The next thing my dad actually surprised me with one time um, at the grocery store, and it's the Us Collector's Edition, I think it's Us or maybe it's US, I don't know, it had Fantastic Beasts on it, I was gonna buy it. Um, collector's Edition. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them issue. It had three huge posters in it, which I gave one of the posters to one of my friends. And then I have two, as you could see by the intro when I gave you an overview of the Harry Potter shelf room thing. I had the two posters on the side. That's where those came from. And it's just full of all the information about the cast and the characters and Harry Potter through the ages and it's really great guys, love this. So for the next section of this video, I'm sorry, I know I don't know how to tie a tie right, I, I tried guys. Um, but for the next section of this video, we are going to go through all of my Funko Pop figures. I love these. I do not have them all, like some people, but I do have a pretty good collection of them, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys next. So for my first pop set that I ever bought was actually the Golden Trio. They came in a three pack and it was like a little bit less expensive to get all three, I think. I don't know, but I love these. They're in their first year outfits, which for most of the characters, I tried to get them in their first year outfits or just in their Hogwarts uniforms, because I think that's more cute Harry Potter-esque and they all kind of go together, but I'm gonna give you an up close on each of the characters. All right, so this is Harry. I really hope it focused, but he is so cute in his little first year outfit with his glasses and his wand. This is just a very, classic Harry, I would say, and I really love the Funko Pops. They're so detailed, they're so cute, and I just thought that, like, I'm not a huge, like, Funko Pop collector or whatever, but, like, I just wanted something Harry Potter, like Harry Potter figurines, and these are a very cost-effective and cute way to be able to collect all of the characters. Next we got here is Hermione. Again, really hoping this is in focus. She is so cute. This is her first year, obviously, because she has the bangs and her wand and the really pretty wavy hair. Just love her. This is Ron. <laughs> um, again, with his signature orange hair. Um, I feel like they got his hair a little too orangey for the Funko Pop, but I do love this because he's in his gray faded robe with the broken wand that happened in the second book. So the next Funko Pop that I got was Neville Longbottom, which... You gotta love Neville. He's again in his first year outfit with Trevor and the thing, and it took a lot of effort to get those close-up shots for those three, but I kind of just wanted to do it for those three because, again, they're the golden trio, and I wanted to show you guys what a Funko Pop really looks like, but I'm not going to do close-ups for any of the rest of my Funko Pops. So we got Neville. Then the next one we got, which is literally one of my favorite characters, Hermione's like probably my all-time favorite character. I mean... She's Hermione, but like, if other than the Golden Trio, obviously, Luna is definitely my favorite character. Luna and Lupin and them, just, she's so cute. I love her. She has her signature strawberry earrings, wand, shoes, and like, spider rings. She's so cute. Next one that I got for my birthday from a friend was actually the Rubius Hagrid, another amazing character, I might add. Funko Pop with his wand, an outfit that he first was wearing when he got... Harry from the Dursleys. Um, love him. And he's a little bigger 
than the other ones in comparison because again, he's a giant. Then one I actually got last night from my sister, she found this for on sale and picked it up for me which is super nice, is Dolores Umbridge. Oh my gosh. Everybody's least favorite character. I hate her so much, but I love her pop. I think it's super cute and you know You gotta have some villains in there, too Then the last is also from Funko Pop, but is not a normal like pop figure um, This is one of their mystery minis that I just picked up one time to kind of see what they were She's super cute. She's a tiny little Hermione and this is her in comparison to a full-size one Super cute love these all right, so next we're going to go through movies all right, so when, obviously, me and my sister were first watching um, Harry Potter, my parents got all of the movies on DVD, but then we lost all the boxes for them, we lost a ton of the movies, and when, in like last year, I started really getting back into Harry Potter again, and I decided to buy new sets of the movies, so I do have a couple of the old DVDs, but they don't have cases, and I think they're probably really scratched, but those were the original sets, and then, so then I got a new um, Sorcerer's Stone, and it's super cute. It has the bonus features and the normal disc in there. Then I got the rest of them in their two packs. I don't, I didn't buy a new Chamber of Secrets because mine, I still had it. And I just put it in this slot where the bonus feature disc would be so that they'd both be together. And then the bonus feature disc is just in a little plastic bag because yeah. Um, but then I have years three and four, Preserve Azkaban and Goblet of Fire. These are not in order. Um, order the Phoenix in Half-Blood Prince. And of course, Deathly Hallows Part 1 and Part 2. And then, a new addition to the um, soiree. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. DVD, Blu-ray, Digital HD. You got them all. I got this from Costco. Super excited about that. If you guys don't own that movie, you need to. All right, so the next section is kind of merch-related items. So the first thing, obviously, is my Gryffindor tie, which I have had since I was like eight and dressed up as Hermione for um, for Halloween, but I kept the tie. Um, I want to find the robe and stuff. I have no idea where any of that went, but the other day I found the tie and I was like, yes. Um, the next thing I have is not a Harry Potter licensed owl, but it was in the section at Barnes and Noble. And it's a, just a little owl plushie, and it's super cute, and I feel like this is what my owl would look like. kind of reminds me of Ron's owl. Super cute. Next thing I have is this Harry Potter pop figure pin. It's a pin with Harry Potter and his Gryffindor outfit on top. This was given to me by a friend, and I love it so much. The next thing that that same friend also gave me is Harry Potter licensed... Um, golden snitch earrings. I do not have my ears pierced. I used to, but they grew in. Um, but I really just love collecting any Harry Potter merch I can. And I also was thinking maybe I could use these as like pins for my backpack. Like, I don't know. They're super cute though and very shiny. Next thing is just this Harry Potter lanyard. I don't know if you can even see it. Okay, there we go. Um, that I got from Target. It's like stretchy, which is kind of weird, but it was $5 and it was Harry Potter related, so I bought it. It just has all of the Harry Potter houses as well as the Griff, as just the normal Hogwarts logo on it, and I just thought it was super cute. Next thing is obviously not the movie prop from Harry Potter World, Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans, but these are just like the ones that they sell at like Kroger and whatnot. I've had so many packs of these. They're so gross, but then, you know, they're fun because they're Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. This is just a new pack that that friend that gave me the other stuff um, gave me, which was super nice. And guys, I want to go to Harry Potter World so badly. Like, I would give anything to get to go to Harry Potter World, but we just can't do it with my family right now because it's you know it's an expensive trip um you know and stuff like that but i would i would do anything to go i want to go so badly all right so the last section in this video is prop replicas so the first thing is um my wand i really want to collect a lot more wands and i will definitely be like like probably at some point today because i have some gift cards i gotta spend um, be buying some more wands. This is my first one that I ever bought from the Noble Collection. It did not come in a Noble Collection box though, like an Ollivander's box, which I was kind of disappointed about because um, I didn't buy it directly from Noble Collection. But this is a licensed Noble Collection wand. Um, this is Luna Lovegood's second wand. You can only buy her first wand when you buy the Dumbledore's Army set. But I do 
really really love this one it kind of looks like to me like a tulip on the end and it's just very simple and classic but yet elegant and beautiful the story behind this wand is mr ollivander made her this wand when they were locked up in malfoy manor because he um because she made him smile every single day and it was super cute so i love this wand love luna yeah that's why i bought that one Next prop replica is definitely not the Noble Collection version because that's super expensive. But I wanted to get a um, prop replica of all of the Horcruxes. So this is the first one that I bought. It's Rowena Ravenclaw's Diadem. It's literally just like a $15 one from Amazon. But I've seen someone who had the Noble Collection version and like guys, it's almost the exact same. Like it's real metal. It's got like nice, not obviously real, but nice... Um, gems on it and these diamonds look very very realistic whip beyond measure is man's greatest treasure this is one of my favorite things in my collection it just looks so beautiful on the display case love this next thing i have is again not a licensed product but something that i found that just reminded me of harry potter these are well to me they represent harry potter's glasses i thought these were super cute and um yeah, so the last thing just fell out of its box, but I was going to do a cool unveiling thing, so we're just going to try that again. Oh, okay, not cool. Um, but this is as... What happened here? There we go. This is, as all of you know, the Time Turner, which is one of my favorite, like actually probably my favorite, magical artifact from the movies, because number one, um, Prisoner of Azkaban is probably my favorite book slash movie, especially, I think that's definitely my favorite movie, just because how they filmed it was cinematically gorgeous, um, because I love that type of stuff, and the scoring is also beautiful in that movie, but, um, I just love the whole, you know, concept idea, and you meet Sirius, which is so serious. Um, uh, but the Time Turner is gorgeous, this again is just one from Amazon, not the Noble Collection licensed version, and it said it's 24 karat gold, um, but it was $3, so I'm kind of doubting that, but it's a really good replica. I can try to find a link to it and put it down below, as well as anything else that I can find, because it's $3 and it's a really, really good replica, and it spins, you know, I've been talking about this for a long time, but... It's cool. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked today's video, again, please it. Wow, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Leave in the comment section a video request for me to do, and check the description box for the comment challenge. I know a lot of you click down there and see it every week and do it, which is great, but not many do. So click the description box down below to see the comment challenge. And without further ado, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you next week for another video or actually maybe in a couple days. I'm, I don't even know. I don't know. Sorry, I've been absent for a week. Exams. Anywho, now that's the end. All right. Roll the in-screen annotations. Bye, guys.